Okay, we're gonna talk about um, its set. So, first of all, turn this on. Bam. I don't know why I have a loop right here, but yeah. Um, okay, first, uh, we're gonna PHP. So, it's PHP. Um, we're gonna define some variables. Um, author. Um, book, and we're gonna make the book empty, and we're gonna find a variable. And we're gonna talk about is set. Is set. So what is is set? Is set is a boolean. So it can be true or false. True or false. Okay. Let's try something. So if is set author dollar sign author best way to do is copy and paste this so copy and paste that's the best way to do it um let's name this guy hello and we're gonna semicolon we're gonna echo author and then you can cat by using period it adds words together. He is the uh, his author. Kid gorgeous. Okay. And we're gonna open Chrome. And localhost ninety thousand. He is the kid gorgeous. Oops. Okay, sorry. Um, okay, let's try this again without is set. Is it gonna print? No. Even though this is true, like author is not gonna print anything. Watch. I'm gonna create an else statement. Echo. This. Is not true. And watch, it's gonna say this is not true. That is weird. That is weird. How can that be? How can that be? Hmm, that's weird. Try there's nothing. Okay, yeah, it doesn't work. Let's try. See, so put a set. Here, insert. Sorry. Insert. No. See, it's not true. You need the is set. And then when it's set, when this is true, like, it's gonna have a name like author. And it's gonna be set. So, he is author. Um, that's what I wanna go over on is set. And then you can read documentation on is set. Let's go here. read about it's better to just look at the um, documentation bar dump and just practice it and it'll spit out copy and paste it um, let's see they also talk about is null Alright, um, I found something else really cool about PHP. Um, PHP is the new Facebook language. HHVM. So basically, PHP now is a faster. It's like faster now. It's pretty cool. 
And then he talks about how fast it is now and stuff. Hi, I'm Paul, an engineer on the HHVM team. We're a project that runs PHP code, just like what you get from php.net, except we do it a little bit differently. Instead of interpreting all of your code, we translate it into assembly and run that instead. This is called a just-in-time compiler, or JIT, which can lead to crazy speedups, anywhere from 2 to 20 times compared to an interpreter. Facebook.com itself has noticed a 10 times CPU reduction and a 5 times memory reduction, and we're still eking out more. We also support the hack language, which has gradual typing, collections, trailing commas, my personal favorite since I wrote it, and removed many of the inconsistent things. So go check out hacklang.org to learn more. Over the past year, we've made huge... Yeah, so this is like the new language Facebook invented. It's just basically a faster PHP. It's not an interpreter anymore. It just goes directly, it just directly compiles into P, like assembly. So you write PHP, it directly compiles to um, assembly. So it's way faster now. But you have to install it. So let's see, so like Sean. It's, that's not Heroku, but it doesn't really matter. Is in the cookbook. No, it's getting post. Uh, getting post. Get post. No, uh, this is our JSON. Sorry, that. that's not important. Uh, where are you? So yeah, they teach you how to do it right here. Quick tutorial. So the syntax is like that now. So it's just it's still PHP, which is pretty cool, but faster. Um, for installation, you go here. So first of all, you get a Linux box. You just type in. You know, sudo app get install nginx, then local host will show up and they'll say welcome in, whatever, such and such. After that, all you do is follow this, all this stuff. It should be working. Where else is it? Echo hello world. Oops, cub dot php. Uh, cw get hgvm app get it is sudo. All you gotta do, I think all you gotta type in is sudo app get HTVM and it should be good to go. So you gotta just type in this and type in this and it should be good to go. And then you gotta just deploy the files into like the files. Like the public.html or something. And it should be working. Or whatever dub 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 is. The var dub 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 HTML. Yeah, in there. And then you can play the settings here, the bridges here, stuff like that. Well that's Linux, so that's deployment. You always just use Heroku or something. So, sorry this tutorial is not that in depth. I just want to show you this much stuff. So, that's what I've been up to. So, this is just it set, and um, PHP is probably the future now because uh, it's a very fast language thanks to um, Zuckerberg. And I hope you learned something from this tutorial. See you next time, guys. Testing one, two, three.